MMT, it is the last hour. Today's date is the following. 10-12-2012 and the time is 12-12 p.m. How about that? What are we focusing on? How to trade the hourly, weekly options expiration. That means that we trade these right down into the closing bell in the last hour. And there were $9.90 on the high. And it's a 7.45 call. And we're currently printing at 7... 47.89 and we are going to and you can see the bids drop very quickly down there when that just happened that's called high frequency and we have limit orders to buy this call at a dollar seventy and we've had it out there for quite a while the time is 12 13 p.m. I'm gonna take that bid from a dollar seventy down to a dollar twenty right here on the 745 call I'm going to also put bids in here on the 745 call. I'm going to take this bid down here to $5.20. What would have to happen in order to get hit at that price level, we just made that low, a 2.75 on this weekly options expiration that expires in 47 minutes to the closing bell. Just like the put option over here on the 750 put just hit 30 cents and now is at 245 by 270. Yeah, true. Big story based on the price volatility in this marketplace. Here is that 740 call and we're printing at 746 and we're making big lower lows. And I'm going to take the 745 call right now. I've got a bid out there at a dollar ten. I'm going to take it down to seventy cents right now, and it's finally hit my dollar ninety-five. But I want to see if we can break a little bit lower on this stock to still this option expiration hourly entry price compared to nine ninety down here, just like he did over here. He got the the put the seven fifty put at thirty cents, and they're printing three dollars now. So. What we're going to do is keep that lower bid. We have that price fixed right here, right now. Excuse me if it's exciting. It's in the last hour of a weekly expiration. You want to learn how to do this and get wholesale bids like this over here at 30 cents on the put, and then they reverse the name. Now, that's how to trade those options into the closing bell. Let me show you the Google three-minute chart. I'll be happy to show you in the MMT platform right here. It's clear that we're, we had this big, nice reversal. Had a breakout to a short at resistance. And right now, it's 12.15 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And we're getting a bounce. And that's where the call's now. That's this call contract. It's making its lows at $1.95. But no one ever thought that the calls would go from 8.30 down here. We got a little bit of an entry we're looking for. It hit $1.95. The low is 7.46.50. And we're currently printing 7.47.50. How to steal the 7.40 call on a weekly expiration. 10.12, 2012, 7.40 call. High 14.30, low was 7.80. They're coming in line. We had bids at the 5.50 area. We got them down. 550 area is a perfect area for this particular one because we have hit that support level right there with 76 lows in the last hour. Now, MMT, it's all about stealing those bids on a Friday options expiration. We do it with monthly expirations too. So when Google did its thing, the, the 750 put got to 30 cents and just now printed three dollars and forty seven cents that means that when google sold down that it took all the premium out of the call to a dollar ninety five and bounced at seven forty six fifty only by one dollar to create all of this option entry exit pricing volatility I mean calling making profits okay at wholesale prices and this is what a weekly expiration can look like on both sides of the market. 750 over here at 30 cents. This is what you're taught here to do. If this is what you want to learn how to do and make that money, then sign up now.